Hello guys, it's Grindage here with another video and we have today 25 hearts and 25 elite goose calls. I've been thinking of a new series which is going to be releasing on the channel I think in one month or maybe sooner. Just uh, have to see on how much time I have but it's going to be bossing related. I'm not going to say any more than that but going to start off with the hearts as usual because I'm not that hyped for the hard goose calls because I'm not lucky on those hearts ever so uh, I try to save my RNG for the uh, later uh, Clue Skulls, which are the Elite Clue Skulls. 281k is not a bad start. 624k actually is not bad either. The first master is there already, so not a bad start for the hard Clue Skull caskets. Another Clue Skull with some skipping tickets, custom skipping tickets, which are always nice. I don't really use them all that much anymore because I can do most of these steps for the uh, master Clue Skulls. Still, some of them I don't have all of the items because I'm just too lazy to get them, but still, it's nice to have another puzzle skipping tickets which are still crazy high in value another skipping ticket this time or not well that's usually the story with the hearts it's puzzle skipping tickets or fortunate components and occasionally once in well let's say 700 hard crucibles you get a die for me it's a little bit more sometimes almost at 5000 hard crucibles done which is huge for me didn't expect that when I first start, started doing crucibles the initial thought was actually just to do like 400 hard cruise schools and then call it a day when I got my first die but uh, when I got my first die I'm just I was just hooked on cruise schools I didn't make videos back then but really soon I started to make uh, some of content for YouTube uh, some Slayer content which wasn't really well received so I started to do cruise schools as well and I really enjoyed doing that of course with the uh, rework it all changed the uh, way I made my videos I usually just uh, I recorded all of them and did the commentary afterwards and now I save up the caskets and do the live commentary which is most of the time a lot more fun because it's really hard to uh, fake a reaction or anything like that or get excited about something you already already seen before and not uh, happens live so that was my usual style of videos double fortune component and a real token which is well that's nice we will save that for the next video 1 million with puzzle skipping tickets uh, but to get back to the story of the hard goose girls well it's a little bit more exciting to do it live because you don't know what's going to happen and if you just put the clips back together or record every clue scroll separately and do the commentary afterwards it's just not that much fun to to record as well so and you guys notice that in in the videos of course all of the runescape uh, clue scroll hunters on youtube are just doing live commentaries right now because it's just the way to go right now it's really nice that they did that one of the best updates they have ever done is the clue scroll for me that is uh, the best update of the past well I think five years or something like that. Uh, they get a lot of criticism right now because of the MTX, which I get. And I will make maybe a video about my thoughts about all of that uh, going on. But it's really sad to see that they're making such a mess of things sometimes. They just don't listen to players really. 165k and real 648k. And the last hardcore school 631k with Sarah Domin pages. But to get back to the MTX story, well... It's really sad to see that Reddit is just always full of MTX and memes and just, well, burning Jagex down on the forums. It's just real sad to see. It used to be a little bit different, but uh, right now it's just sad that the whole community is against Jagex almost. I don't know what's going to happen in the future, if they're going to implement some things that are going to be changed. But other than that, so we are going to back to the clue skills. If you guys want me to, I will make a separate video about my thoughts. We are going to open some clue skills again with the Elite Clue Skulls 25. Let's hope there's some luck in there. We haven't got a god power or anything like that in quite a while actually. And well that's just worrying because that means we are not hitting the rare drop table as much as we used to which is a little bit worrying but maybe in this episode we have back to back masters we only got one of those in the hard goose girls which is sad but it usually happens when i open hard goose girls that i only get one and if i open a stack like nine i always get like three masters it's really odd but can't really explain that. 22 caskets to go in the Elite Goose Girls. We got another master right there. Would be nice to get a shadow or anything like that. But well, we can't expect anything 
again in this episode 421k no not going to reel that one 914k with another fortunate component in the elite crew school 248k going to reel that into 795k well we get something from the mega red drop table which is a dragon mask it's the one that is almost the most common although it could be the most common i don't really know the table at the top of my head but i think it's the most common reward from that table well it's okay not to just go in no god bow we hit that table again so we didn't lose that 191k in the real it's going to be 694 with another master number five of the episode which is absolutely horrendous i think we got i think we got 12 in the previous episode which was a lot better than this one but 241k no we're gonna to reroll a reward a little bit less than that because you get that well almost guaranteed in those elite crew skills maybe get a third age in this one and no 137k with another master not going to real of course another dragon mask which is this time a black dragon mask well maybe we get lucky in the next episode because this one is going to be teamed dragon mask i think because well we got two already maybe the third one right here now 1.6 million with some Ceridomin pages and a master. That's the kind of elite crew skulls I would like to see next to the dice. And well, Druidic, which I have never gotten ever, but well, maybe someday, you never know. 700k and we have 10 more caskets to go. Maybe in this one we get a master. Yeah, we get a master again. I meant to say Barrows or a Druidic, but well, master is also fine for now. Number eight of the episodes getting a little bit better maybe we'll hit the 10 10 is most of the time the aim for me when i open 25 at least 25 hearts because well i need them two more episodes to get the 100 master crucible video into a reality because i have 71 adding up those eight is 79 uh, master crucibles right now so we're getting closer and closer to the goal but uh, 124k even closer right now we have one more to go and and this episode is going to be quite a good episode as well and we got number 10 well there's that uh, the rest of the episode is going to be bonus actually maybe i were going to get another drop from the mega red drop table and no not in this one 441k maybe in this one and 198k we have three reels available so might as well use some of them although not all of them because this is a master so I'm not going to use that reroll, of course. 331k, another Master Kushkul, number 12. It's going to be a great episode. Not for the value, I think, but 12 for the Masters, it's okay right now. 318k with another one back to back and we have two more caskets to go what do you guys think i think around uh, 200k and 195k in the final two caskets 352k are we going to reel this one no we are not we're going to reel the last one uh, yeah we're going to reel the last one 207k into 694 with another master yeah i can't reel that although i really want something in this episode but just not going to happen nothing above like 10 million which let's check how much we made and how many masters we got so this time not all of the fortune components in my inventory just the uh, general loot which is the most important this time no fortune components in my inventory only the items which are the highlights of the episode which were the dragon mask of course though those are fortune components as well but they are on the mega red drop table so Two of those, a Notre Scale, not Godbo, but two rolls on that table in 25. It's not bad, so we're going to maybe hit at the red drop table again in the next episode. And we got a real token and we got 14 Master Crew Schools, which is a great episode for the Masters. But in total, we only made 26 million, which is, uh, well, it's the average, but it's a little bit below that. So it's actually a bad episode for the value, unfortunately, but you have those episodes again. I really want to make like a 100 Elite Crew School episode, but just the time factor for me is just really difficult because I have a busy schedule. So I really want to make a 100 Elite episode because that's one disappointment instead of four for me but well 
maybe in the future when I have a little bit more time. But uh, read the collection log again. Well, nothing much has changed, of course. The hardcore skulls, same old story again. So you all know that I still need the backstab, explosive barrel, the two dice items, the usual story. And then with the elite crew skulls, nothing much has to be said about that as well. We got loads of dragon mask, as you see right here. So quite a couple of mega red drop table drops and also we got three ice dice, three shadow dice, five barrels dice, still on the hunt for the elusive two dice which is going to take a while and maybe the Cruise series is going to extend another four years which I wouldn't mind in that way that I still enjoy doing Cruise Schools. But I still would like to do something else in the channel as well. And if I haven't completed the collection log, it just feels like something is incomplete and I need to finish that uh, before I can do something else. But maybe I will do something like do a clue scroll video one week and then the next week bossing and progress video and then clue scrolls again. I have to see about that in the future. But right now I'm still on the hunt for the elusive dice. I'm really going to work for it right now. I have almost 80 masters. Maybe there's going to be something in those masters. Let's hope so. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you like this series. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.